Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, one of the best things in boxing, one of the absolute best, is when a challenger believes that he should be champion and he actually starts hunting down the current champion, right? A legitimate current champion, right? The challenger wants the belt and he's willing to climb the mountain to get it, right? That impresses me. Now what doesn't impress me is when a champion for some odd reason doesn't challenge himself and doesn't accept legitimate challenges. Now you have both situations taking place right now. Let's draw attention to it in the light heavyweight division. Understand one of the best performances that I have seen this year in boxing in any weight class was Jean Pascal's destruction. It was methodical of Lucien Boutte in January. Right now understand Jean Pascal is big in Canada. Right? You might recall Jean Pascal used to hold the light heavyweight championship. You may recall Jean Pascal fought Bernard Hopkins twice. The first fight was ruled a draw. You might recall Jean Pascal was an unbeaten fighter years ago until he fought Carl Frotch. Right? Jean Pascal has had his share of big fights. Well, Pascal right now wants to take on the reigning light heavyweight champion who also happens to fight out of Canada. A fighter who was SI.com's Fighter of the Year for 2013. Pascal wants to fight Adonis Stevenson. Right? The fight would be huge. Understand, one of Stevenson's biggest accomplishments was beating Chad Dawson. Well, let's roll back the clock a little bit. The man who gave Chad Dawson his first loss was Jean Pascal. Right? Understand, Lucien Boutte remains one of the biggest names in Canada. The last man to beat Lucien Boutte was Jean Pascal. Jean Pascal, who right now holds the NABF light heavyweight title, is a worthy opponent for Donna Stevenson. Now Stevenson took on all comers in 2013. Well we're now in to September of 2014 and here's what I see with regard to Stevenson. I see him getting sued by one of the champions, Sergei Kovalev, right, for backing out of a deal allegedly. That fight didn't happen, right? I see Kovalev fighting Bernard Hopkins. Now I see fellow countryman Jean Pascal a guaranteed box office bonanza in Canada challenging Adonis Stevenson in a fight that would be extremely lucrative for all involved. This is after a big victory over Lucien Boutte and you're getting non-responses from the Stevenson camp. Right? Non-responses. Pascal's calling him out 70s style. In interviews, he's saying things like, hey, this guy doesn't have the courage, my word, not Pascal's word, the courage that Lucien Boutte has. Right? He's basically accusing the light heavyweight champion of being a coward, of being too afraid to fight him. Right? And Stevenson isn't responding. You, the fight fan, should be asking yourself, what's up with that? <laughs> Who else is there? at light heavyweight for Stevenson to fight, right? Isn't Pascal a credible opponent? In fact, let me say this, and I don't say it lightly. 
Pascal hits hard with both hands. He's not one-handed. Adonis Stevenson's one-handed. Right? It's a left hand or nothing. It's all or nothing. Right? If that fight were to happen today, I'd probably take Pascal over Stevenson. Maybe Stevenson is aware of the fact that Pascal is a serious threat. Maybe that's why Stevenson's fighting the Andres Fanfaras of the world. And by the way, let's not kid ourselves. Stevenson was barely hanging on late in that fight. Maybe that's why Stevenson's fighting the Andres Fanfaras of the world and not fighting the Jean Pascals. Why won't Stevenson fight Pascal? Why are we into September without Stevenson fighting anyone major this calendar year? Right? Stevenson's 36 years old. Time's running out. Not everyone is able to do what Bernard Hopkins is doing. So why isn't Stevenson trying to make the most of his time by taking on challenging opponents? Understand, Stevenson doesn't even have a fight announced right now. There's a chance that Stevenson doesn't fight for the rest of this year. Right? So... Somebody explain to me why Stevenson is not accepting Jean Pascal's challenge. Right? Both guys beat Chad Dawson. Jean Pascal fights out of Canada too. Right? Pascal wants really to be considered the best light heavyweight in the country. Right? His idea of accomplishing that is by fighting Boutte and then fighting Stevenson. That deserves a standing ovation, right? This is a guy trying to climb Mount Everest. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a willing dance partner in Stevenson. I think the Stevenson people know that Pascal put on a clinic in his last fight, right? Pascal's boxing skills have never been better. I was surprised looking at that Boutte fight by how good Pascal looked. Also, let's face it, Darnell Boone knocked out Adonis Stevenson once, right? We're ignoring questions about Stevenson's chin, right? We're ignoring that fight, and I'm here to tell you that Pascal, in my opinion, carries one of the biggest punches in the sport, right? So, put me among those who is applauding Jean Pascal right now as he tries to hunt down Adonis Stevenson. I'm guessing the Stevenson people are privately hoping that this problem goes away by Pascal challenging the winner of Hopkins Kovalev. Right? They want somebody to take care of Pascal because they understand their guy might not be able to. Keep an eye on the light heavyweight division. A lot's going on outside of the huge fight between Hopkins and Kovalev later this year. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.